Help support the companies that support our community. sure what type of wood this is but a beaver had taken this piece down and it hadn't been on the beach very long the bark was still on it so I just cut it up so it fit on the lathe I was a little worried at first because the trailer kind of rocks around a little bit and I thought it would wobble but it didn't at all I started it out at 500 rpms drew it up the outside of it and put a tenon on it to clean it up this was kind of nice. This is kind of where I st first started turning. It was down here. We got a chance to walk around, bend in a little bit, see some of the carvings down by the marina. Everything worked out great. I really didn't forget anything uh, as far as tools go on the trailer. Everything seems to run good. The generator runs a lathe perfectly. Had some friends stop by and, and hang out to see what was going on. So it worked out really nice. Robin was filming from the outside. What I did was just put a tenon on it so I could grab it in the in the chuck. It's a neat little town. I used to live really close to this when I was younger and work at a mill that's not too far away. The guys at Wrap It Up in Grants Pass did a fantastic job on the trailer wrap. It came out amazing and a huge thank you to Pat Lapp. He's the one that did all the layout and design for it. It came out amazing, Pat. Thank you so much again. Bandon's a beautiful little coastal town. Two of the top 10 golf courses in the country are here as well. As far as cleanup goes, the wind was blowing a little bit and it just kind of took care of a lot of it for me. It was blowing in one window and out the other. That lighthouse over there, there's a road down to it, but I was a little worried about taking the camper and trailer down over there, but that's where I, I used to get a lot of wood was over on that side.
So this was was green. So what I did was take it and pack it in a paper bag with the shavings and I'll let it sit for a few months before finishing it off. We have our first project done from the mobile shop. One down. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Robin and I are in Bandon, Oregon. This is one of the first places I used to come and get driftwood. Right behind me there at that lighthouse, there is a road that goes down there and it's full of driftwood. When I first started turning, I would come down here all the time and get wood out of there. Right. Again, a huge thank you to everybody who helped make this possible. We're gonna be in Anacortes, Washington next weekend. So if you're in the area, I'll uh, do some updates on Instagram and Facebook of exactly where we're gonna be. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the subscribe and like button. We're gonna be doing a lot more of the uh, trips from on the road. So I hope you enjoy them. Uh, the guys that did the wrap at uh, Wrap It Up and Grand Fast did a fantastic job on it. Um, we really didn't didn't forget too much in the trailer as far as the shop goes. We still have ways to go, some other tools to get, but we're super excited to kick this off. All right, guys, till next week. Take care.